Stop Hi, it. my name is Sandy Baird, and we're here with uh, my colleague, Eric Onyero, who is an expert on Africa, having lived there for many years. He now lives in the United States, but he still follows events in Africa very closely. And what we'll be talking about today is the current crisis in Africa, particularly in the French-speaking parts of West Africa, particularly Niger and Mali and Burkina Faso, right? Yes, Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso, and the whole region, right. because, you know, it started spilling over uh, uh, Central Africa, where the Russians are also the, are the, present. The Wagner Group. The right? Wagner Group. Okay, but before we get there, I would like you to explain the title of our show, which is The New Scramble for Africa. Okay, The New Scramble for Africa. But before we go there, yeah. I would like to share a video with our okay. audience, a video that gives us a context. Is of the by, New uh, Scramble for yeah, Africa. Yeah, for The New Scramble, and particularly the crisis in, uh, in Niger. It's from uh, uh, City News. Okay, thank you. As Niger's armed forces ignored a deadline to cede power, thousands rallied in support of the coup that toppled the democratically elected government. Cheers rippled through this 30,000-seat stadium in the capital as military rulers sounded a defiant note. The bloc of West African nations, known as ECOWAS, issued an ultimatum to the junta running the country. Stand down and reinstate the deposed president, Mohamed Bazoum, within a week, or face a possible military intervention. But that deadline came and went on Sunday, with Niger's future hanging in the balance. This information concordant actually on sa position. Military leaders have closed Niger's airspace until further notice as a spokesman accused foreign powers of preparing an attack. The airspace over Niger was empty on Monday as international airlines begun diverting flights. Many young people have taken to the streets to guard against foreign intervention. He adds they're ready to risk their lives for the new military regime. Neighboring Mali says it and Burkina Faso are sending delegations to Niger to show solidarity. Both countries, also run by juntas, declaring they would consider any intervention an act of war against them too. In other parts of the capital, people continue to go about their lives as normal, albeit under a cloud of uncertainty. ECOWAS defense chiefs have drawn up plans for use of force. The bloc's heads of state will meet on Thursday to discuss their next steps. Whether a diplomatic solution can be reached remains unclear, but an ECOWAS delegation sent to Niger last week in a bid to resolve the crisis met only with representatives at the airport, not coup leaders themselves. ECOWAS has expressed concerns about the coup having a domino effect in West Africa, where since 2020, three of Niger's neighbours have experienced Five coups. For City News, I'm Karen Siolin. Okay, so what's going on? Why did you show this video? Yeah, just and for uh, our audience to know that, you know, uh, there is a coup d'etat in Niger. There okay, was so Niger was a French colony, correct? Niger okay. was a French colony, so, you know, for like... Uh, early uh, 1900 to uh, 1960, where all the French colonies got their independence. Okay, but French colonies, that was part of what you call the scramble for Africa, yes. correct? When all the European powers, or rather the richest European powers, France and England in particular, scrambled to take control of Africa, correct? Yeah, they met at uh, that at uh, Berlin, Berlin conference. In, right. Yeah, and where they divided, they divided Africa, Africa like a correct. cake. Right. You know, uh, and then uh, the British getting, you know, uh, a huge chunk of Africa mm -hmm. going from the northern part to uh, uh, Cape Town, I mean mm -hmm. in the south, and the French got substantial part of Africa, and then uh, we are experiencing in this part of Africa uh, where, you know, France still holds, you know, grip on, uh, you know, to, on these uh, former colonies we're experiencing, what some people are calling a second wave of decolonization. 
a second wave also of colonization or, in or a way. colonization. And then a second wave of decolonization, de yeah. which so involves the, kind of revolutions, yeah. right? This new, uh, this new scramble for Africa, this time, you know, probably uh, involves Russia, China. Mm -hmm. So uh, a few, uh, I mean, a century and so ago, it was only the, the most powerful powers in Europe. Now, uh, uh, Africa wants to do business with other, other powers, emerging powers. Uh, so uh, the Europeans also, and America, I mean the U.S., uh, they feeling threatened by uh, this new situation because uh, remember uranium uh, Niger for example is uh, uh, producing one uh, I mean more than a tenth of you know the global supply of uranium a very important metal you know when countries are are going towards uh, a nuclear power mm -hmm. and France gets fifty percent of its uranium from Niger. From Niger. And France is almost 60 to 70 percent uh, uranium, I mean, uh, nuclear based energy, electricity. Mm -hmm. So uh, Niger is very important for France as a former colony because uh, of all these treaties that French kept with uh, uh, almost 15 or 14 countries in Africa where, you know, France, you know, uh, uh, is a major actor politically, economically and culturally socially in this country. Also, Niger is very important because Niger is, uh, 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 Niger hosts uh, military bases. For whom? French, for right. the French and the U.S. The, and US, the U.S.? The U.S. have probably two bases. What is, what is our interest? What is the United uh, States? Officially is to, uh, to, uh, to fight terrorism yeah, and but all what, this who, insurgency. What terrorists? You know, remember uh, NATO, so meaning, you know, at that time, uh, the major powers of the NATO. major capitalist powers, yeah. correct? France, Great Britain, and the U.S. And the U.S., right. You know, uh, toppled down Gaddafi. Correct, in Libya. In, in Libya, creating a mess over mm -hmm. there, a chaos that, you know, spread across, you know, uh, the, the region. Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso. Because they're sort of close. Yeah, and then so all these uh, uh, guns and all these, you know, uh, I mean, uh, uh, this chaos was uh, uh, recuperated by uh, the insurgent groups over there because you have Al-Qaeda Al and other, uh, you know, uh, uh, terrorist organizations that have their cells in these countries. So uh, these terrorists and insurgents have started, you know, attacking the central governments, you know, you know, they want to impose Sharia law. But you, all right, yeah. but you say terrorist groups. Mm -hmm. What do they want? What is it? Are they terrorist groups? Are they revolutionary groups? Who are they? There's, there's different actors. You have the, you know, the terrorists, so-called terrorists and insurgents, are, you know, uh, mostly backed by Saudi Arabia and all these uh, big, you know, uh, Muslim powers that are looking for to establish uh, you know, uh, Muslim, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, regimes over there. So that's you have certain. Yeah, that's certain. You, re regularly, you will find in the news, you know, that young girls have been ab abducted right, in Nigeria. Yeah, in Niger, Niger, in Nigeria, Nigeria, Boko Haram, right. Al Qaeda, and co. So uh, these uh, militants are threatening the, you know, social fabric, but also economical, because it's a region full of, I mean, uh, minerals, resources. Right, resources. Right, so right. Uh, I bet, you know, uh, the uh, superpowers don't want to share that with any, you know, uh, uncontrolled, you know, group of uh, people. And also, uh, it's... Also a pretext, according to some scholars and, 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 and commentators, for the um, European powers to get back to Africa. Exactly, militarily. Militarily. Right. So, and to defend to, against the ter so-called terrorists, correct? Yeah, to okay. defend against the so-called terrorists. But, you know, uh, many of the countries in the region, Burkina Faso, Mali, uh, and, and Niger. And Senegal? Co Senegal, not yet, but, you know, these countries have realized that even with the presence of Western military, you know, uh, uh, troops over there, there's 
not much going, I mean, not much success in repelling really? the terrorists. Mm -hmm. And they realize that, I mean, they think that it's mostly about mining and, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> taking the resources. So by whom? By France. Okay. But what we have to understand is a reaction to an endless, mm -hmm. you know, colonial, you know, uh, 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 grip of France in the region. More of the new generation, I mean, uh, the new generation of leaders over there don't want to be under, you know, uh, the control of France. France, France uh, chooses who is to be president. And then, they, but they say that those are democratic elections. Oh, correct? there's no democratic election. Okay, so what? And then it's an insult for people in Africa mm. because they think that you know the Western world has higher standards for democracy, in in the West, in their you know countries, but can put up with any leader over there who managed, who manages to to get elected. Mm -hmm. And who and manages to stay is not, yeah, loyal? Yeah, to stay the loyal to the French. As right. as soon as long as you stay loyal to the French, they don't the, care. They don't care. Mm -hmm. For example, you go to Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire, where I'm from. Uh, the president that uh, is over there has been put in place after a military intervention that they, uh, the same military intervention that they're envisioning in uh, Niger. In, in Niger because uh, these guys uh, was said to have lost an election, but the European powers and um, uh, the U.S. wanted so much that guy to be there because he's been groomed at the International Monetary Fund. Okay, it's so the perfect, U.S. wants the guy in yeah, Ivory Coast. The perfect lackeys okay. for uh, uh -huh. European powers. So they uh, they uh, they uh, they uh, bombarded the palace of uh, 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 an elect. I mean, a sovereign, um, the president of a sovereign nation. Which was, uh, uh, which is the Ivory Coast, to install this guy. Okay, the guy did two mandates, two terms. Uh, the Constitution says you cannot go for three. three. He barged his way into a three, in third mandate, uh, third term. Mm -hmm. Two hundred people died, mm -hmm. but we didn't see any reaction from uh, U.S. because Mr. Alassane Ouattara is the perfect good boy. For the Western powers, right. So in West Africa, and especially in the French francophone regions, as long as you're a good guy to uh, to France, and then you give them contracts and access to minerals and you know control over your country, you can stay there forever. Mm -hmm. But as soon as a new uh, leaders, uh, as soon as a new leader comes and vote to you know repel France to go to do mm -hmm. business with someone else, boom. The whole world, the, the so-called international community, the Western powers will jump on you and, 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 and try to... That's what we, 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 we are witnessing in Niger. Okay, so what is going on then in Niger? There was a democratically, so-called democratically elected government, correct? Yes. Favored by the U.S. and France? Yes. And they didn't do anything for Niger, correct? Yeah, that's what the, the people from Niger think. And it's one of the poorest countries in Africa. One of the poorest countries, yeah, actually. one of the poorest countries yeah. in the world. In the world. In, in the world, but we've blessed with uh, uranium. But, you know, you have, like, a country that produces, like, uh, you know, that much uranium, which goes to France. Right. And doesn't get itself. No electricity. There is no electricity? I mean, 70% of that electricity comes from Nigeria, which wait, himself... Wait, wait, wait. okay, from Nigeria, which is not part of French West Africa, no. it's English, Yes, correct? English, you know. Yeah. So Nigeria, like, provides electricity to a country that is sitting on uranium. And the re but the uranium then goes to France. France. Do where they make bombs out of it? No, they make electricity. Yeah, okay. uh, probably some, you know... Uh, nuclear bombs. <laughs> yeah, nuclear yeah. bombs. But, you know, mostly 70% of France's energy comes from nuclear plants. Okay. So and they need uranium for that. They need uranium for that. And that's for French people's electricity, yeah. correct? But okay. we have to understand that Russia yeah. has been called upon by, you know, these by countries whom? like Burkina Faso and Mali. These countries have gotten rid of France. They have, they yeah, said, they France, have... go away. We don't want your soldiers here. We don't. And there were soldiers there. There were soldiers okay. there. So the French, but the French 
were forced to leave because the Wagner group is already in these countries. Okay, but who forced the French out? For instance, of Burkina Faso, the, the people? The, the people, I mean, the, the, the government of Burkina Faso. Okay, so they just said, get out, get, get out. lost. And so, so you have this series of coup d'etat that are, you know, uh, just a symptom of something that doesn't go, uh, that is, is not right. You know, you have uh, 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 I mean, democratic decay with, you know, standards of democracy imposed by the West that are favorable to their, their, their good buddies over there. Mm -hmm. You have extreme poverty. You have uh, extremism that is popping up. I mean, that is, uh, you know, uh, that is the result also of, you know, uh, failed, you know, social policies. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have kids that wants to go die in the Mediterranean Sea, Mm -hmm. to reach the shores of right. Europe, it means that those countries are not, you know, providing any hope for them. Mm -hmm. So all this can also be a good terrain favorable to terrorism as well of, you know, okay, extremism. Okay, but by terrorism, again, you mean insurgency, yeah, correct? Yeah. Um, and so some of these are like uh, against being ripped off by the French imperial power, right? Or not? The, it's more of the new, I mean, the, um, young the civil society, right. the youngsters, and the new governments that are against France, you know, yeah. you know and, and these big powers. For many years, these countries which were given independence, they didn't even fight for it. It was given to them because uh, of the pressure in the 60s and 50s. Right you know, for, uh, the decolonization movement. Mm -hmm. So uh, they gave these uh, independences to these countries, but, you know, kept some treaties that, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. bind and keep those countries under the influence. So now you have a new generation that doesn't want that anymore. They what want do to, they want? They want to be able to do business with whatever power they or whatever. They want to do business. Yes, they want to do business. Uh -huh. They don't want to be... Uh, 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 colonial beings anymore. So it's important that, you know, it's... Are, they, it's, are those forces in the position to be independent countries without the Western powers? With, of course they are, okay. because today, you know, I mean, uh, look, uh, uh, Turkey, if you, if you see uh, countries in, uh, in Asia right. that were in the 70s, even below, you know, the level of development that some of the countries in Africa had, those countries were able to... Yes? yes. Which ones? You have uh, uh, okay. Malaysia, you have all these, you know, countries in, uh, in Asia. The, they call them like the small tigers or whatever. Yeah. You know, they, they, they're thriving. Are they? Yeah. I mean, uh, they're trying. They're trying. Most of them are becoming, you know, uh, 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 emerging powers. And, and then you have Africa with all these resources. Mm -hmm. It's not... It didn't work for all these years because you had like tyrants that were entertained and maintained uh, over there by uh, the colonial powers. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see if there's no, you know, uh, intervention or control of France or Great okay, Britain. Okay, let's go let's back see. a little yeah. bit. Okay, mm -hmm. so what you're saying is that these struggles are against essentially the old colonial powers. Yes, because and they are to and this mil so let's talk about Niger. Mm -hmm. What happened in Niger? Because that seems to be the, the country right now that's in power. Yeah, Niger or is, that's in the news. Yeah, Niger is the latest coup. You know, a coup uh, against the government. A coup against the government. Military. Yeah, because those governments in power in this region, they don't they don't have any credibility anymore. They could have Did had, it, yeah, well, I mean, uh, 20 or 30 years ago, you know, uh, the people in power were out of colonization. They were still, you know, uh, uh, scared about, you know, uh, the colonial master. Mm -hmm. Now the new generation, the guy who was in power in Burkina Faso, for example, he's not, he's not even 35 years old or maybe not even 40. Mm -hmm. He's a captain. He's like leading a country. And then you so, have you have also another uh, young leader in Mali who maybe wasn't even born under colonization, mm -hmm. who probably has gone to uh, schools where he was able to compete with other you know uh, people from 
these colonial uh, powers equally. Mm -hmm. So they want at least to be treated equally. Someone was telling me, listen, and then it's important that you know the progressive, the Democrats here? here in the U.S. understand that. But they don't. They don't understand. They don't accept that I France know. is, you know, uh, 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 maintaining people under poverty. Yeah, poverty, because France is in the fantasies of you know the rep the the progressive here is the land of democracy, the land of human rights. But a friend of mine was telling me, it looks like the Democrats, the progressive, if, when it comes to the black and brown world, in this country, when right. it comes to their interaction with the black and brown folks, Abroad. They, they, they try to be Martin Luther King. Here. But in the global south, mm -hmm. and particularly in Africa, they are Jim Crow. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't be Jim Crow in Africa and be Martin Luther King in, in America. It doesn't okay, work it's not because gonna last. it's the same color. It's the yeah. same people. So you, you, I mean, if I was even a, a, in African American here, seeing what is going on uh, 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 in, in in the rest of the black and brown world, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't believe those who come to me and say Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go around the the continent, the Democrats in Africa, in Africa yeah. the Democrats have been those who have you know, instigated conflicts over there. Rwanda, Congo, if we have so many refugees from Congo here, it's just because, you know, uh, 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 this scramble for Africa, this, you know, a uh, 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 copinage with, you know, uh, 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 crooked leaders who are, you know, you know uh, 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 taking advantage of the, the people have created a mess, you know. Some, some people will say that we prefer to have, like, even the conservatives who have, like, we some know... Some people in Africa. <laughs> yeah, we know what they think about yeah. Africa. So uh, rather than, you know, those who pretend to be progressive mm -hmm. and accept that countries like uh, 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 in Africa and the black and brown world be still... I mean, can you believe that? Look at the, the, the videos and the news. It's all about we don't want France. They're burning France's yeah. flag. Yeah. Yet... In this country, people think that no, it's about poverty, it's about you know terrorism, it's about probably you know they can't do anything if there's no France. Let's try something. Let's ask France to leave this country alone. At this least country leave is a, militarily for sure. But leave militarily and, and leave, uh, politically yeah, because right, right. France is controlling politically these countries. France is the only country that can bring uh, uh, to the table a resolution on behalf of these countries at the United Nations. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. You can't have a Security Council that is still under, you know, uh, the influence or, you know, uh, who is uh, 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 controlled by a bunch of countries and say that, you know, uh, we all well, are part of... white countries. Yeah. So it's about time. Right. People understand that. It will backlash to. I mean, it America. Is back it is. It is. America will suffer from that because the the flags that they're burning, the French flags that are they're burning, you know, are you know soon going to be also replaced by other flags of countries that are seen to be condoning what France is doing over there. Another example, Chad, for example, which is a neighboring country yeah. in uh, in uh, of right. uh, Niger, right. Chad had like a succession that was not democratic. Mm -hmm. There was a tyrant over there, a good friend of uh, the military, you know, I mean the Western military powers, who died. His son took over without election, you know, uh, uh, you know, he, he forcibly took power. Emmanuel Macron, the president in France, went all the way to, uh, to, uh, uh, to his country to, to, to bless almost his, uh, you know, uh, accession to power. So uh, it's about time there's not this double standard. Democracy is good when, you know, here you can, you know, you can, <laughs> but in, in the rest, rest of the world, you know, if you are a good friend of ours, you can have your version of democracy. Mm -hmm. And if you're not good uh, to us, we're going to impose sanctions. Okay, so who is the new leader in Niger? He's a military man, Yeah, he's correct? a military man. And is he favored by the people of Niger, or do we know? 
is favored by the people in Niger, at least until we see an election, a democratic, a real election, uh -huh. but the masses, the people seem to be, you know, backing him. Okay, been so... Demonstrations of the uh, people from Niger. But, you know, the only way to see that is to uh, not create more chaos, have this uh, 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 military power quickly hand over the power to civilians, and then we have to sit down. I mean, the big powers have to sit down and decide, for God's sake, to leave alone these countries. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure they will be They haven't able. decided that. No, they can't because Russia, China is over there. Yeah, but who do they favor? And why are they there, Russia and China? Uh, and essentially, Russia has been a friend of the independent movements in Africa yes. for a very long time. Right? Yeah. Since, at least since the Second World yeah. War, right? So, uh, 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 Russia is seen as a big brother. By who, the by African Africans people? Who can, yeah, who can help them. Right, and China? Defend themselves against, you know, uh, uh, the, the European old colonial, colonial powers. powers. Okay. So, they say, at least with Russia and China, we are the ones who went to, to get them <laughs> to come to our country. They did? Yeah. Uh, in, uh, in, in the case of European powers, they were colonizers. Right. They imposed themselves. The to French it. and the English yeah, so, uh, in particular. It's not that they favor the Russians, so to speak, but, you know, between two... Uh, two, two uh, uh, Bullies. Uh, yeah, you, you, you look for the lesser you know, evil, right? Well, but they actually assisted the Russians. Correct. Mali and Burkina Faso are completely assisted okay, by Okay, and by this so-called Wagner group. Wagner okay, group, but so behind Wagner, the Wagner group is... It's uh, Russia. It's Russia. Right, and that seems to be something that is also quite controversial. Yeah. But it's your opinion, after study, that the Wagner group is Russian. Yeah, the Wagner group is Russian. It's not Russian. some... But look, uh, the, Rush, the Wagner group is combating in Ukraine. Right, exactly. So, uh, and in fact, and, in fact, uh, Putin transferred them yeah, so, to Belarus, right? So, I mean, they are they are like, Russian. They are proxies of the Russian government. Right. We don't we know about it. It's clear. So, uh, uh, the 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 problem now is, you know, uh, uh, if there is a war, is there going to be? And it's in I mean, between the stakes, whom? the stakes are very high. I know, I know. For the U.S., I, so. I don't know if the U.S. will accept to have, beside the military base, another, I mean, a Russian base. They won't. I don't know if the French will accept to be kicked out of Niger after having been kicked out of Burkina Faso, kicked out of the Mali. Mali. That would be, you know, uh, the end of the France. Well, the in, end in of Africa. the French Empire in end Africa. The French Empire, right, but right, the end right. also of France in Europe because... Uh, uh, the European, the other European countries have always said that France wouldn't be a superpower if it didn't have all these year wow. colonies and former colonies, you know, to exploit. Wow. Because, you know, well, they're France not going to have nuclear power. They won't have nuclear power. Or they won't nuclear have, energy. They won't have, you know, Heat. you know that all the countries that France, you know, controls in Africa, they give the... Uh, foreign currency reserve to the Bank of France. Mm -hmm, in return, right. Bank of uh, the uh, France, you know, uh, 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 make sure that they have a, a, a currency yeah, that they can currency. stable. So, yeah. But it's a it's a currency that right. is not in favor of exactly. of these Africans because it's a f currency that is backed is uh, uh, um, attached to the euro. So it makes the goods from this country very expensive. Mm -hmm. And then if they want to uh, to buy, you know, goods from, uh, out, uh, you know, uh, outside of the country, it's also expensive. So these countries really want an independence. And France didn't understand that they should have done like the British, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. British Do are business. more subtle. More subtle. Do business and not come as, well, you know. Well, I just read today, however, that the British have the military in Kenya still... Um, and in their old colonies. I asked you that question yeah. yesterday. The French appear yeah. to be more heavy-handed, but I really wonder. But we don't have answers about that. Yeah, it's the same that. thing. Same well, thing, we but don't we, have we, answers about yeah, that. Yeah but, but, yeah, but, okay, so those, those bases have to leave. 
They cannot I, stay. Well, but the United States has AFRICOM also, military bases. And okay. if they have to stay, then they have to do that, you know, uh, in good faith with okay. these leaders. Okay, well, let yeah. me ask you, because I think we're almost out of time. So is this going to be another proxy war between it, uh, the United States and Russia? It could be, uh, the I mean, uh, another proxy war, and then it will... It was likely to be because uh, I, I don't see the U.S. I don't accepting. see the U.S. giving up. No, I don't see the U.S. giving up. It's important also for the U.S. I mean, the U.S. it's for their security. You know, they don't want they have they want to have control on this right. region. You know, not to be subject to any blackmail from terrorist groups. Uh, you know, well, that's what they say. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I don't I don't know how it will go. And then, uh, but. Niger, I mean, uh, the neighboring countries from Niger, uh, for example, Algeria, uh -huh. which is a, a, right, very powerful. Algeria said no war. No intervention. No intervention. Uh, 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 Burkina Faso and Mali said if there's an in a military intervention, they it will would be tantamount to a declaration of war on them. On them. Right. So the whole region and will so blow. And so we're here today essentially to try to explain a story that is not being explained very well by the American media. Yeah, it's a story of clinging colonialism. Thank you. It's a story of clinging colonialism. And it's not I repeat. over today. It's not over today, and then it's getting worse because right. the European powers are no longer able to grow. There's no growth in Europe. Right. There's no more growth in Europe. And what have created growth in Europe is exploitation, free right. exploitation of resources. Right. Exactly. That's what have you know fed capitalism. It's not necessarily you know uh, uh, that one camp oh, is uh, yeah. It's free access to labor mm -hmm. right. and resources. But I uh, also capitalism probably at its highest form, mm -hmm. imperialism. Imperialism. Right. So today there's no more room for imperialism because. Russia is there, right. China is there, South Africa, the BRICS. You know, it's a multipolar war. Exactly. And it doesn't... Uh, you Bode know, very well for the United <laughs> no, States. No, no, for France. Or the United States. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the, the Western powers have to accept that. It's they're not, not... But they're not going to. Ah, mais c'est la vie. C'est la vie. Then, la... We're, then we're in for more wars. <laughs> c'est la anyway, vie. But anyway, I think... C'est la vie. I know. Anyway, with that, c'est la vie to our audience. Yeah. We'll be back on the same subject, I hope. Yes. Soon. So my friends in America have to understand as much as you're you know... The, you're going to be in America. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the revolution has inspired the world. And JFK, too. So they have to let other countries do their revolution so that also they become... They joined We're the free not, world. Oh, okay, exactly, we, but the United States is no longer a revolutionary country, right? It's an empire, oh, well. unfortunately, in my mind. Yeah. But the story continue. The story continue. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, merci to our audience, and we'll hope to see you in about a month.